the three from last time who's coming up and something like that. Yep. The, uh, well, well, one question, Jörg, that really, um, um, because there is a, a lot of complaining about CMAS and they are not doing for us anything for our sports, you don't have to answer to that, but the question is, um, Turkey is two in the CMAS, they have the so same conditions as we all have. How do they succeed in, uh, um, in, 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 in restructuring, coming from nothing and structuring uh, a whole uh, big life about underwater it's it's this always, good place? It's always personal, personal Isn't it? Invest, uh, engagement. Exactly. I totally agree. And uh, when you see the, the, the former times, uh, the age of my father, uh, these guys bring, go everywhere with a rugby ball and uh, teach the people about this that you can see in Colombia, you see training camps in Singapore or whatever with uh, national players from Germany, with uh, coaches uh, somewhere and as long as this, this uh, it's like you, you're sitting here three days in an ugly broken <laughs> Don't say ugly, we don't know, we put some uh, comic touches here. Yeah, we, we, uh, somewhere in, uh, it looks more like a prison, <laughs> a bunker, uh, every, yes. everyone looks, come here, looks a little bit sorry for, for us. Uh, <laughs> I came here basically uh, to just, uh, I'm, I'm working a lot and traveling a lot and I spend my weekend, not in, I could see it in front of the screen, but I like to, to see more the atmosphere and something, take the chance also. So, so you'd agree, um, uh, don't complain about the system, do something. Yes, exactly. Do something and open your mind, listen to new uh, opinions. Uh, when I see uh, some of the structure, what's in Germany, what I hate is always people tell me what not, what don't what's work. not working. Yeah, what, yeah, no, exactly. Who's guilty? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Nah, who's, yes. Who's guilty? Yes. And, nah, something like it's that. his mistake. Nah, and uh, there's no one who's really saying, "Hey, let's go forward." Yeah, and if critical. if you do an, a new idea, th most of the people complain. Yeah. We okay. did it in the past. No. Nah? Okay, sorry, I have to interrupt. We're back no in the problem. game. This is uh, Barcelona um, Malmö. against Malmö, the men. And I'm also looking forward to this game because they, it's going to be quite... Because Barcelona lost just 8-0 and Malmö 10-0 against, um, against, against, against Molde, right? No, I think that... Did it was only 2-0 against Molde? No. Let me see. Me, mm -hmm. So this can be an interesting game. I think the, the two teams are almost equal uh, yeah. in what we've seen until now. And uh, um, even though I enjoy every rugby game, I learn every, uh, from okay. every game, but uh, these Point two two. Games, um, these two teams are um, uh, on eye level to each other. And uh, this is always the but more if interesting game. If, if we compare this to the former game of Egger, the same pattern, they're underwater, but it looks look like slow motion. Yes. True. Yes. And yeah. it's, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's yeah. Somehow that uh, the speed is out, the passes are not well controlled. Yeah. And uh, there you see the immediately the difference uh, uh, of, of the game. Yeah, it's a whole different uh, scenery. It's just, uh, 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 yeah, the same game, but in slow motion. And uh, now he has to look for his, uh, uh, the... Barcelona players to it look for his partners. It's uh, it's very funny because uh, in my old history when I played, uh, Mami was uh, yeah was like dominant, the dominant, and was mm. the, the molder of that uh, generation. Yes, I know. Yes, and if you see them now, it looks. Uh, and they, I mean, they even won Champions Cup in those times. Yeah, seven Many times. times uh, they, I mean, they were like the molder of those times. I mean, yeah. they're the one, the, 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 the team to beat. But that's also interesting for later for the break. I want uh, to talk about how you can keep up uh, 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 a club or a team to the high standards, what uh, like Molde does. Let's talk about it later and stay in the game, please. So <coughs> we are again uh, at the basket of Molde and uh, um, Barcelona is attacking. So uh, uh, it's not really pressure on the Molde basket. It looks more like apnoe training. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> Connie, my coach, always said it's Baden uh, mit Ball. It's uh, like having a bath uh, with a ball. Um, WB. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never thought about that appropriation, but that's good. Make a T-shirt out of it. Okay, um, it's it's quite slow, like Jörg said. Um, uh, not decisive in which direction the the game is going right now. Uh, Barcelona is attacking more. It's going. Uh, 
forward and has more push to the uh, basket of uh, Malmö and Malmö is forced to go in defense and uh, this always uh, keeps at least two players uh, close to the basket and uh, that's always an advantage and opportunity for the attacking team because they have at least five players down in the water with, which, with whom they can uh, spin their attack pattern. So um, let's see how this develops. We are now still in the, uh, in the half of Malmö Triton, but uh, we're not getting close to the basket. Uh, Barcelona is not getting close to the basket. And now Malmö uh, recovered the ball and is going for a counter track, which is uh, very fastly stopped in the middle. Uh, Malmö didn't even make it uh, in the half of Barcelona. And uh, the Barcelona recovered the ball and is trying now to work its way back on the bottom to um, the basket of Malmö Triton. Um, it's, uh, here we go, Malmö has the ball uh, recovered, but the forechecking checking with Barcelona is quite heavy. It's, it's almost uh, the, the mirrored uh, um, situation we saw in the first minutes, but now Malmö is close to the basket. This is a good chance for them to score on their open side. There was one player under the goalkeeper, but he couldn't succeed, was taken away by a defender or by a... Uh, offensive uh, defender and now again uh, we have uh, we are close to the basket of uh, Barcelona that's the difference we saw from the attack of uh, um, Barcelona they didn't get even close to the basket of Malmitritor Malmitritor right here is very close to the basket but now they lost the ball and uh, one player tries to save it on the surface but he has no station to play to his uh, two of his players the teammates are uh, still uh, uh, glued to the defense and we have now a cluster on the surface and uh, there is no game going on right now it's just a, a clustering on the surface of at least four players three four players um, um, which is a, a waste of player energy uh, stay one player one-on-one -on -one fight but going up there and just tearing at arms and anything it's no use there is a call from the referee on the surface um, we don't see it yet so it's a free throw against Malmö yes free throw against Malmö and Barcelona is uh, executing it quite fast as it looks like I ah, know that was not a sign for the free throw. Here we go. Um, now this would be a chance for Barcelona to get close, finally close to the basket of uh, Malmö Triton, but they lost the ball with a with a little insecure pass, and we're going with a counter attack to the basket of uh, Barcelona, and we're at the open side. There's one player right under the basket. But take it away, second one comes in, third wave, he's now over the basket of Barcelona, trying to push through, and this is the goal, he pushed really hard with a ball in his safe arm under his body, and he pushed the uh, goalkeeper away and succeeded in scoring. Um, like I said, I think uh, in the first half, uh, Barcelona was dominant, but couldn't get even close to the basket of uh, Malmö Triton. And in the second half of the first half, uh, what we see now, um, Malmö um, scores by getting very, very close to the Barcelona basket. And uh, they, they leave too many gaps open for the Malmö players uh, to build their attack pattern to let the ball walk between them and then score on one side. So it's 1-0 for Malmö Triton now and we have three minutes to play in the first half. Interesting game and I think they uh, play on the, on the uh, same level and it's uh, absolutely possible now for Barcelona um, to, to score, score too. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, here we are first time a little bit closer to the basket of Malmö Triton. It's really difficult for them to bring the ball even uh, in, in arm distance um, to the uh, basket of Malmö Triton. We are now on the surface in the cluster and uh, uh, this, yeah, let's see, well now here uh, Malmö recovered the ball and we're going for a counter attack. Uh, the player is going up to the surface, passing down to his teammate and uh, he's passing again back and forth. Now we are on the close side. 
And one player is positioning already under the goalkeeper. No defender there. And uh, here one player brings the ball. We have the same situation before where uh, the attacker was able to push the goalkeeper away. But this time the ball got loose. And uh, don't see it right now. But I think it's still in possession of Mametrizio. And again from the open side, one player pushing. And again the ball is just squished out of this uh, skirmish. And uh, squish! Squished out. It was like uh, nobody saw it. it was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You were um, in the sound ball. Continue talking. Yeah, I, uh, we could You're do a whole there. game <laughs> just with the sounds. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, we are at the basket of uh, Barcelona. Uh, no, of Marmit Triton and now Barcelona is quite close. Now they're getting closer, but they're really difficult uh, to get through the defense and. Uh, I have to say, uh, the attacks of Barcelona, they, they succeed in keeping the ball in the play around the basket, but the actual attacks on the basket don't succeed at all. They don't get close, even close enough to score because there's always a good defense lying right in front, right between the basket and the ball. It's amazing uh, good uh, uh, defense work here from uh, Malmö because uh, I think they're under pressure, but it looks uh, very good. Uh, um, and relaxed. I mean, they uh, stick to their system. I mean, they have always the goalie, the defender, the defender and the goalie, uh, you know, go once uh, towards the, the one in position of the ball before they go on the surface to get some air. And, um, oh, that was like a kick, right? In the middle of the face of the... <laughs> um, so we have uh, 24 seconds left in this first half. Um, Barcelona in blue, Spain against Marmel Triton uh, from Sweden in white. Uh, and it's 15 seconds and uh, I think uh, we can say the first half uh, belongs to Malmö with this 1-0. Even though this is quite a chance, 6-4-5 last chance for Barcelona in this first half. Um, but they cannot get close and that's the first half. We have a, a comment here from uh, Daniel LD. It looks slow motion because they been playing for a short time that doesn't mean they are not good well um, please listen to us we didn't say they're not good the thing is uh, compared to the game before uh, they look slow motion we didn't say they are not good players please 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 if we uh, talk about uh, teams we compare the teams the styles within the champions cup there is no bias we don't we love on the water rugby we leave love every team yeah. and it's if not, we it's say not personal no, at absolutely all. it's not just an, an, an our view of an analytic tactic and our view can be wrong as well this is just our um, subjective opinion and that's it and don't it's feel not offended right. uh, if, if it's your team you love and you think we are not uh, giving them much enough respect uh, that's not not at all personal we just put it in context here in the Champions Cup and if we say it looks like slow motion uh, like me and Jörg said it's just comparison to the game before uh, you're absolutely right they're uh, top elite players and uh, there is no doubt about that okay but also from my side, uh, uh, I think uh, we, we try to comment and make say something smart. And uh, as everyone has his own point of view from things, uh, and if you're a fan from from uh, uh, Barcelona and uh, you see it different, uh, and that is uh, like uh, every soccer game or exactly. every something like that, and uh, and there's a lot of emotion. Well, Christian, well, Christian uh, we as a commenters, uh, commentators, uh, we cannot say uh, anyone plays bad, and I wouldn't do so because everybody does its best, but uh, you definitely can write it in, uh, uh, in, in our live chat. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's your opinion, and uh, either we agree or not, we, also, we will not share. I mean, what we said is regarding uh, what we've seen from these teams on the past, if we know a team more than others, then we know what this team can normally play, and if they are not playing at its best, we also say it because we know it could be different. Again, it's just our... Um, so, interesting question. I put now the question, and we can probably talk about it in the, the break. How do you keep your team, if you're a high elite team in your club, how to keep your standard 
over the the how you say uh, um, the productivity age the underwater rugby productivity age of your team let's say it's a range between uh, i just give you a number between 20 and uh, 35 let's just say uh, what do you do to keep your team and the scores of your team up uh, when the when the next generation should be there because we talked about Malmö how they dominated underwater rugby and they've been the the Malmö uh, the 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 molde of the old times um, but now they, they the, the 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 next generation didn't come up and this is a big question we saw this too with uh, well, we had Berlin the underwater with rugby but we also uh, the the women of the Berlin we also were very okay successful. that's a question yeah okay let's go back in the game. Um, it's uh, Malmö Triton against Barcelona, um, and it's Spain against uh, Sweden. And uh, Malmö Triton is uh, leading 1-0 against uh, um, Barcelona. Castor is a Karen. Fue 2-1 para Karen. Perdió. Um, someone asking in Spanish in the chat. So. Um, here we go. Uh, now another attack of uh, Barcelona, uh, of uh, Malmö, and uh, like I said before, the attacks of uh, Malmö are much more dangerous for the Spanish basket than are the uh, attacks of the Spanish team on the Swedish basket. So <coughs> it's quite still quite possible for Barcelona to score uh, and to equalize, but I guess from what I see right here, and uh, there seemed to be a prep talk from uh, Malmö uh, in the in the break. Uh, um, I'd say uh, it's even more uh, uh, realistic. Uh, Malmö will score another goal um, if they keep pushing this. this yeah, this pushing that out. Well, but that was a big the mistake. The ball was dropping down, but, yeah, but look, it there just was no threw one the from ball Barcelona away. Yes. to take that ball away. So crucial that as a player taking the ball in that matter and just you know go away for a ball after so few minutes under this kind of pressure because you know that eventually they're going to break through. So now we're in the middle of the pool. Uh, they're fighting for the ball and we can't see which team is in possession. Um, it's a big cluster on the surface and the uh, Malmo player um, got the ball, but now it was taken away by one of the uh, Barcelona guys. Um, and they're in the middle of the field, still trying to move uh, <laughs> over the half of the pool. And um, this Malmo really is for taking it is very good because they're you know trying to put resistance in, in every part of the of the pool. They got the ball now and they're swimming a counter attack. The Barcelona guys are just you know grabbing the, the feet. Uh, uh, trying to stop the attacker, but the defender and the goalkeeper into position. Um, the three Barcelona against one Malmo. Now we have uh, a, a room, a playmate of the um, Malmo, trying to uh, help, but they're attacking over the close corner. Barcelona is well into position. Have the goal. You have the defender. We have the four checking. But we can see they are uh, under stress. And now they recover the ball and trying to f swim away. And this time it, it successfully achieved it to go through the pool without no kind of resistance from Malmo that just you know, got there on position to defend the basket. We have three Barcelona players uh, waiting and trying um, to pass the ball underneath the goalie. But uh, Malmo is foretaking quite good. So. Um, that there's no really uh, big danger. N Barcelona is attacking again, but a three white against one blue. So and Sophie, they're the only uh, woman playing for now. Was um, for taking, recover the ball, and uh, Barcelona is trying to recover it, um, but didn't succeed. Still fighting in the middle of the pool. Um, still fighting for every little piece of pool. And now uh, Barcelona got the ball. This is so crucial. It was so important that, that another Barcelona player was there to receive that ball. And um, Malmo got it and is doing the counter-attack. And this is a risky situation because Barcelona have been attacking, putting too much emphasis on that, and don't have the strength and the ear to really put up with this kind of wave of attacking. And they're doing a great job. But if Malmo actually successfully keep the possession of the ball in attack, maybe on the third wave they can be able to achieve a goal because uh, there was not really 
a pause in between attacking and defending, and right now they are under pressure again. So I think that's getting uh, on their limits. And the, in this half, uh, in the second half of the game, uh, Malmö against uh, uh, Barcelona, uh, Malmö definitely, d definitely dominates the game, and uh, we are uh, almost 98% in the corner, in the half uh, of Barcelona. And Malmö Trader is putting pressure on the basket, but they are now not in a hurry. Uh, the time is ticking for them, and time is working for them, and uh, they they can keep the ball right moving, looking for a chance to go in. And we've seen they are dangerous at the basket. And now we have a player come from the open side, tried to tear away the goalkeeper, didn't succeed, but um, went up, lost the ball now to a Barcelona player. He st I think the Malmö player stayed too long in the defense and lost the ball because of it. He should have tried and go out with the ball again and not stay in this uh, very dangerous defense perimeter around uh, the Barcelona basket. So now uh, Barcelona is back uh, in ball position and uh, slowly getting forward. Now there's their first chance to go uh, into the defense, but it's one player with no use going into the defense, just pushing against the body of the defender. Now the second wave comes in. But they stay too long. They, they, they try, every one of them try to score, but they just uh, take a, you should take a bite. And if it doesn't taste well, just spit it out and go out of the defense again. And uh, they stay too long. They try to eat the whole cake uh, by themselves. So here we are again. Uh, are back you again. hungry, Wolf? I, am, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know what I am. <laughs> Uh, I'm very surprised. One zero for Malmo, and it has been a fight. It's, it's, you know, had they, there was no clear favorite in this game, or actually, I would have said maybe Malmo because it's an all-time favorite. But Barcelona have been put up an amazing fight, and it's so important they have now a double pass for another. Oh, the ball got lost, and they, uh, but the Barcelona play there was two there. Didn't see it. that would have been the chance for Barcelona to score, and that was a big mistake that the ball, you know, just fell, and one of the Malmo. Uh, players could recover and now swim a counter-attack. These kind of situations, you know, they are, they have to take advantage of them because in this kind of tight match, uh, you don't have that many, and that's the difference between winning or losing. So here another attack, and this is a score, and uh, that's what I meant. Uh, the the attacks from Malmö are uh, dangerous on the basket because they see the gaps, they go in and they know how to score. And uh, Barcelona was quite dominant in the first half, but didn't succeed on scoring. And uh, that's what uh, turned the, the game around because now uh, uh, Malmö Triton is leading 1-0, uh, now 2-0. And uh, we have two minutes left, and there's a timeout, uh, probably for Barcelona. A uh, quick question here in the, in the live chat uh, was motivation. And Sultan said, is there another reason for a team other than fun and honor to compete in the competition like this? And my question back is, uh, what would change? I, I would agree it's fun and honor and the will to win and doing sports. But what would change? What would change if money would be involved? Uh, nothing. I think a lot. Mm, I think uh, a lot. No, every good sportsman doing this for honor. If you would, if you would look for top players like Messi, if he get one million more or less, he even don't realize. So either you love the sports and put your energy there, and uh, if you can earn some money for this and something like that. But the question is not how to invest money into the sport. How is who, where you get an investor? True, and, and that is uh, the most w every sport where you can sell something like mountain biking, skiing, or whatever that someone buys a part of equipment, uh, top star using that makes sense. But but sponsoring um, has many effects. There is one uh, part sponsoring a winner and sponsoring a club. There are two differences, and I think there are differences uh, uh, in, in, in what does it with, with the sport. If uh, the money goes to the players, and the thing the difference is for us is nobody earns any money right now in underwater rugby, uh, except for probably some uh, Colombian trainers which are paid by the club, but all the rest do it just for the fun. If it starts at one point that somebody earns money with it, it changes the game, I guess. But let's talk probably about it uh, um, after, after the game. 
Um, it's, I just want to send it out here in, in the community. Think about it. Probably we need structures uh, before there is money involved. And I think there are good examples um, which show uh, that money not always does good. Okay. Um, here we go. Second half. Uh, Barcelona against Malmö Triton. Um, Spain against Sweden. And it's 1-0. And uh, two Malmö... 2-0. Zero. Zero, sorry. And Malmö proved... Uh, they are uh, the dominant team in this match. And, and they'll go for a third goal, and if uh, they continue doing the pressure like that, probably the next goal in the last two minutes, there were all of the Malmo players there, and there's a mm, question of the recover uh, with the counter-attack of the Spanish team. Um, the Spanish team is taking too long to the counter-attack, or Malmo is reacting fast, better say, and um, this is the key. Um, so we, we, we maybe we will see a change now in the uh, attack pattern uh, of Barcelona because uh, they have nothing to lose. They, uh, if they don't do nothing, change nothing, they uh, will not win. Um, they have to change something and maybe risk a little bit more, go more forward and uh, risk to, to catch another goal. But if you lose 2-0 uh, or C C C 3-0, uh, it doesn't matter. But if you score, you can probably turn around the game. But uh, in this not case, not that one minute not that one probably. But it, I think the clock is not right. We just started the. Oh no, we we had a, a, a timeout. Huh? Yeah, it was a timeout. Is it still the first half? Sorry. No. No, second no, it's the second half. half. Second half. Okay. Thank you. And we have still how many more games to go? It's ten. We have twenty more games. 20 more games uh, for today. Yeah. Um, there is a, a, a comment on the live chat, money involved, more viewers, better investors, limited possibilities. Can you please explain the limited possibilities? Um, back in the game, uh, 30, 30 seconds, seconds left, left and call from the referee uh, on the surface. But I think, you know, the um, Malmo didn't expect uh, the game to be this hard. I mean, Barcelona has put up a very good fight and a great game. And it has been really fun to watch and, and to see, you know, how fast uh, a team can react between attacking and defending. And we have been able to see, and not on the top teams, and the top teams you always see, it, but in teams that are not completely at the top, Sometimes this reaction uh, is, is too slow still and they, they get always gold uh, through a counter-attack and that was not the case uh, in this match. Okay, we raised many questions. Uh, is this something you want to say right now, Björk, or can yeah, I... I uh, back, back to the money, <coughs> money situation. Uh, look at the, the whole the equipment, what we put here for the live stream, that uh, you're spending three days in the bunker to, to comment that situation. How you want to do this is money. Uh, with that, uh, that we are doing because uh, we like to do that. Exactly, and, yes. Uh, yes. We have some fun with this as uh, experience uh, and uh, to grow the sports. And uh, when I came to uh, become the national coach, it was not... Uh, because of money. Not of no, money. Absolutely, was, I believe it's you. Because I want to achieve something uh, with the team uh, what I did not achieve before. And you love um, the sport. It's uh, b because uh, even though you might play from time to time, but uh, where you, you want to put your knowledge, uh, give it back to the sport. And that's, that's what it's all about. You don't say, OK, I got the experience. You can pay me to make you better. But you do it because your, your heart goes with the sport. You wouldn't say no to money, I, I totally agree, but the structure we're living right now with this underwater rugby family is a different one than it would be if there would be money involved. Of course, money is always a game changer and it's, it's some part, and it's, uh, but we, if you look for the German soccer league, and that is what they say also a lot of discussion is uh, the money with Red Bull involved in, the, yep, in sure. one team. And they open uh, a, a new, new, new system, uh, but they did this with unknown players. Hmm. So you can utilize money not only like Bayern Munich, hmm. buy everything you can get for money. You can also s invest in the surrounding and the team and whatever.